See you snack! Welcome everybody to the very first episode of See You Snack, a series that brings together a variety of students to talk about fun, interesting, and sometimes even controversial topics with an emphasis on keeping it real and casual. My name is Maddie, and I'm a sixth year student in marketing. <laughs> Are you sure you saw her though? Anyways, I'm Harleen, and I'm in my fourth year in marketing as well. My name is John, I'm a third year box student. Uh, my name is Felix, I'm a fourth year accounting student. My name is Priscilla, and I'm a fifth year marketing and OBHR student. And the CUS president. And the CUS president. Oh, yeah. the US president. <laughs> All right, so what's going on today, guys? As you can see, we have a lot of snacks that we're going to be snacking on throughout our conversation. But uh, to start things off, what are you guys' plans for 2020? Oh, uh, co-op. Who's in co-op? Are you in co-op? Yeah, so I'm in co-op right now. I just finished up my uh, last week of my first co-op. Oh, actually, nice. I was at like, and, yeah, fancy I, big core. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was in risk advisory, so something that um, I haven't really been trained for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a risky boy. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, anyway. So, yeah, no, it was a really great experience. Cause co-op is basically like a buffet. And you can go oh. into a firm for four months and eat all you want and then you head out and you go to another buffet. That's like an amazing opportunity because you don't have like the cutoff costs, right? You can't just go to a company so when modern. you're in the workplace and like uh, just leave. Cause that kinda, they kind of go like, oh, what the heck, you're here, we're here training you for a long time and you're just leaving. But for co-op, they expect you to do that. So I want to try as many different co-ops as I can. Do a better buffet though? A better buffet is exchange. Try all the different countries in Europe. What, what? <laughs> Are you doing exchange hunting? Next exchange? year. So my last year in Sauter, then I'll go exchange next fall. Where are you going? Um, my top three are Vienna, Lyon, and Dublin. So we'll see where I get placed, if I get placed anywhere. <laughs> Vienna is known for their butter, and we have some honey butter chips here. So let's oh, go okay. ahead and crack this bag open. Oh, but I want open. turtles. We can have both. You can yeah. have both. Anyways, I want exchange. Yeah. Hey, what about you? Oh. <laughs> I didn't do exchange, but I took a semester off to backpack Europe. Wait, when was that? That was in 1876. I've been here for a long time. Honestly, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Being a six year old for a while. Yeah. It was in 2018, term one. I wasn't having the best time. I just wasn't really enjoying school. My friend was just like, dude, you should take a break from school. I'm like, word. And did I discover myself? No. But was it cool? <laughs> yes. Was it? Yeah. Pause for a second. You took a break from school uh -huh. in Zodder? Yeah. Like, Don't you guys feel like the energy of solder can sometimes be oppressive? Like, sometimes you'll see somebody put their like, oh, they'll update their LinkedIn title to a new job, and they're like, ah, damn it, why am I not updating my title to a new job? And then all of a sudden, you're always like comparing yourself to other people. And it's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. And although it can sometimes be good for you, because competition kind of makes you want to better yourself and be better, mm -hmm. but sometimes you worry too much about maybe getting the right job rather than doing the thing that's best for you. But for me, I was just like not enjoying myself. And actually, that was the time when I was in BTM before I switched into marketing. One thing that we don't teach in school is just self-reflection and being like introspective about what you are doing and how it's impacting the way you feel and the way you are. So I took that semester off and did just that. So did you for coming to a Maddie's Detox. <laughs> I, I think like, what you're saying, it makes no, so much sense. Exactly. You, like the standard that you put on yourself, yeah, stick with it. But don't let it be affected by how you want other people to perceive you professionally. It's all about what you challenge yourself to do. I think the biggest thing as well, the whole standard is that there's that solder mold. Like I remember coming in first year, like seeing like, Maddie, literally a spirit leader at Spark, just going at it. And I was like, I refuse. I cannot get D-O-W-N, that's not happening. Uh -huh. And like year and forth, you're now like being the dumbest person ever, dancing in the halls. Like, and so for that solder mold, I remember in second year, I was calm to a networking event. And everyone's like asking for LinkedIn stuff. And I was like, literally do not care to be here right now. But it's kind of like that thing where you have to get LinkedIn five of us connections by the time you graduate or else you're really not doing enough in like three. <laughs> so it's kind of like that annoying pressure. Like if you don't have a big four internship or a really crazy CPG internship if you're in marketing, you're not doing enough. You're not going to make it. And so it's like that annoying solder mold. Um, you feel all throughout your four years. It keeps like bugging in the back of your mind, you didn't get the internship, you didn't get two, you didn't get three till you graduate, like, are you yeah. even solder grad? Like, it's kind of making sure that you're aware of that, kind of tapping out yourself whenever you want to, and like, not letting that get to you. 
Yeah, yeah I you, you know what? Uh, for me, since I didn't come here in my first year, I, I transferred Ooh. from a, from a university in Seoul. I, I was in science and I transferred into business. I was really intimidated. Being like a bunch of my friends, um, sort of doing great things, going on co-op, going on exchange. I felt really pressured. I, I was like, okay, what, what can I do to sort of like be this solder student, you know? Because I felt like I was still a UFE student in UBC. That's when like in my third year, I was going to a lot of events, conferences, just being really engaged. But then afterwards, like it does get very tiring since a lot of those things that I went out to do weren't exactly what I really wanted to do, right? The one thing I did do that I really enjoyed was obviously- Taking photos? Yes. Yes. Joining a CUSDM, yeah. yeah. And that was one of the things that I carried on into my fourth year. And it's sort of that medium where you're doing solder things, but solder things that you want to do, mm -hmm. you know? And in fact, you're just sort of listening to your heart. Yeah. So like yeah. not doing things just for the resume. Right. Yeah, 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 like yeah. find your passion, something exactly. you're passionate Exactly. Like don't set out to do solder things. I don't yeah. think that's, that's not the point. And if like that message gets out there, which I feel like a lot of people mm -hmm. feel that burden, mm -hmm. don't go out for the sake of doing solder things. Find stuff that you're actually passionate about. Mm -hmm. right. Right. I think even last year, like I got sort of a questioning me because I chose to go to Kenya for a month of my summer at the end of third year or before fourth year, that prime internship year. Oh, was that with year. Broker? Yeah, yeah, so oh. I went to see Kenya and oh, everyone's like, you're in your third year, going to fourth year, why are you spending your summer in Kenya? You're risking all those internship opportunities because you can't go any to do any because you're going in all of June. And I was like, you know what, like that was my biggest like opportunity cost as well. But sometimes I was like, Kenya, <laughs> internships. And so I was trying to like, what do you actually want to do? And I was like, oh, yeah. go to Kenya. Blink these internships. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. honestly, like, how many times can I say I went to Kenya with my school and I mm -hmm. actually made a difference and actually helped people learn entrepreneurship skills? What do you think, Priscilla? We all For 2020? Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm She's graduating. To graduate. If I complete all my courses, I'll be set to graduate. Talking to sixth year? Yeah, maybe yeah. 5.5 if I don't graduate, <laughs> but I think it's crossed. I'm proud of you, man. 5.5 is a new 5, okay? Yeah, <laughs> it's a new 4. 5.5 is a new 4, yeah. so 5.5 is a new We've been sort of talking about not wanting to fit the solder mold a lot, but like obviously, solder isn't all that bad, right? I know. We love you, solder. Yeah. We love you, solder. I think solder put me a lot of like tools. I was really shy back then. If you told me back in first year I was gonna run for president, I would just like laugh. Because I never saw myself as like president material, but it's just amazing. You are president material, my president. president yeah, material. I guess so. I didn't know that I was in first year. I wasn't involved in like student council at all in high school. It was always like sports and music was my like jam, but then it was kind of like nice how Sauter helped me grow in like leadership skills, management skills, and just like, um, networking i know we all hate that word but oh like just God. like being able to talk to people carry a conversation it's not just for like finding a job but also for like everyday life if you know like i don't know so taking a colleague home like at mm -hmm. least you have to know how to talk to people right mm -hmm. i think it's like an important skill so looking at like things that solder offers in like a light to better yourself rather than oh i have to do this would really make your time more enjoyable i remember my mindset sort of shifted during that course where it was like, man, we all have to make the resume. I'm just gonna be just like any other solder student. And maybe that's true. <laughs> but what I think is that we really have to add our own uh, bend to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. So as you know, <laughs> as you know, not every course is that useful. And that's where a lot of like a lot of the complaints come from when it comes to students. And why I, I don't trust when every student says like, oh yeah, my solder experience was horrible. Did you just go to classes? And they're like, yes. Then I'm like, then you, that's not the whole experience. 50% of your solder experience is class. The other 50% is what you do outside of class, mm -hmm. right? Points yeah. on Friday night. Yeah, like points. <laughs> or, a lot of my learning came outside of class and it came from joining clubs, getting involved in certain organizations. There's so many things in solder that uh, refine your skill set that aren't in class, and if you aren't taking advantage of it, then you really aren't getting your full education. And it doesn't have to be in solder either. It can be outside of solder. There's literally so anything on UBC. There's literally yeah. anything. And I mean, you should, if you, just anything, just get involved with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really important to like realize that this advice doesn't come from perspective of like fear mongering, where we're like, mm. you have to do something. If you don't do something, then you won't have to, like, it's possible to have fun outside of those things, but it's just one of the best ways to find a group of people. And you know, like those team experiences 
will be some of the best experiences of your life. It's like, this is fun, right? Yeah. I mean, that has to be otherwise. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the biggest thing looking back at like my four years, like, I think I just realized a month ago that some of the last year I saw her. Like, I, I like, I'm like, I'm at home now. The hardest thing is like, I'm gonna have to do it at solder right now, so I close and door and solder. It's such a safe net for me, like, yeah, I'll be Timmy to come in to slaughter, I'll be Timmy for a year or two years to slaughter, and the third year, figuring out who you are, freaking slaughter mold out. Mm. But the hardest thing you have to do is like close the door and slaughter, because like it's given me so much. Speaking yeah. of intimidation, first, second year. In my first year, I faced field year. We all know it's public announcement. Yeah. I failed math 104, 184, whatever it's called. And that summer, I take it again. I was like, I refuse to walk into slaughter until I pass this course. I would walk all around the slaughter if I had to, I would not walk through slaughter. I just yeah. want to see anyone and, and tell them why I was here. That's crazy. I passed and did way better the second time. <laughs> I think I'm a similar with Harley, like math, oh, 184. I, I passed, passed last time. So I was like, I just got thrown to the deep end. It yeah, was. Yeah, that uh, sucks. No, my mom got really mad at me. She's like, you can't come home. <laughs> 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 I was so sad. Oh my crying. god. No, I cried in my closet yeah. and the marks came out. Yeah, I did fall into my closet. Like one thing I were watching, like failure is so common. Like you might think that you're the only one, but I remember walking into that math class this summer. There were so many faces that I recognized. <laughs> People would act as if like, oh, I'm being so good in this class. Mm -hmm. And then you see them in that cat class where they obviously failed, that's why they were there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, don't let people like, Bring you down. Honestly, you don't know what they're going through. Not everyone wants to show their weakest side and puts their best foot forward. So don't let that get to you because you don't know what they're going through as well. I mean, the exact same blood as you. That's an important thing too. I think being genuine is really yeah. important. Don't feel like you have to put up this face or put up mm -hmm. this facade of, yeah, I'm doing fine, I'm doing yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. I think being like vulnerable, being genuine um, to everyone around you. I'm speaking to more of a general failure rather than like a specific failure. So in first year, I was really socially anxious. I hated talking to people so badly in first year that I lived in Hummelsau. I would go the back staircase <laughs> instead of the front staircase so I didn't have to talk to anybody. See that like anxiety of just like interacting with people caused me to miss out on a lot of opportunities for the next like few years. I remember in first year, I applied to be the uh, first year rep for UBC MA. I did I sent my application. I didn't get it. And then like I just didn't get involved throughout my first year. And that was a big thing that I, I regret. The failure was not to be more open to failure. Because in those moments you do learn a lot about yourself. You should always be kind of moving in the direction of things that make you uncomfortable. I guess like for final words, what they want to say is like kind of wrap things up. It's like don't forget that like, when you're in slaughter, yeah, it might be a little intimidating, but everyone in slaughter is literally a superstar. You know what I gotta say, real real quick, I wasn't top of the class or anything. Um, you don't have to be top of the class, right, to be yeah. in slaughter. Um, I just worked hard. So honestly, um, you just have to work hard at whatever you want and you'll probably get it at the end. And that's, that's like my advice. If you don't, that's okay yeah. too. Life keeps rolling. Yeah. I think just like keep your mind open. You never know, you might find something you hated before but end up loving it now in your mm -hmm. stage of life. So just like keeping an open mind catch every opportunity that comes your way and go with it because you never know what it'll bring you. So be uh, open-minded. I'm graduating so uh, <laughs> I'm kind of sad. Like five years went by really fast so just cherish your time here at Solder and make like, the best of it. Honestly like if you know yourself, if you know your values, if you know your own goals, right, then you'll work to those standards and not the standards that other people have set and that lets you drive by your standards. right? Well, that's all we have for time today. Um, but thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching us snack and talk lots about failure and more failure. Um, Just a bunch but of yeah, tune yeah. into our next episode. <laughs> Follow us on our social media. I'm sure we'll have a tag somewhere, yeah, like somewhere. right here. Right maybe here. Not. maybe in the like, right, maybe over right here. editor. Maybe yeah. Yeah. Somewhere here. <laughs> over there. Or the globe somewhere. Look tiny. <laughs> Well, we'll see you guys in the next you snack episode. Uh, we'll be eating everything that we haven't eaten here today. And yeah, follow us online. Uh, the tags will be here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.